Flowers are the reproductive organs of a plant. Anther and filament are the male parts of a plant. We call this the stamen. As you can see, each consists of an anther that's held up on a filament. The anthers produce pollen grains. The stigma, style, ovary and ovule are the female parts of a flower. We call this the carpel or pistil. First pollination occurs. This is the process in which pollen from one plant is transferred onto the stigma of another plant. Pollination can occur in a few different ways. Insect pollination is where an insect carries the pollen from one flower to another flower. These insects are attracted to the bright coloured petals and the nice smell. The pollen sticks to the insect and it's carried all the way to another flower where the pollen sticks to the stigma. Pollination can also occur by wind and water. So this is where the wind or the water carries the pollen to another flower. Plant fertilization is the process in which the male and female gametes are fused together in order to produce a fertilized egg. So the pollen that's transferred to another flower stigma initiates the process of fertilization. Now that the pollen grains have been transferred onto the stigma, a pollen tube grows through the style until it reaches the ovary. Inside the ovary, the nucleus of the pollen passes along the tube. This then fuses with the nucleus of the ovule. This is when the process of fertilization is complete. Once fertilization is complete, the ovules become seeds and the rest of the carpal becomes a fruit. The petals of the flower die in this process. For example, an apple which contains seeds inside. It's important to remember that some plants can reproduce without pollen or an egg.